Hey, I'm Jason Stiles. I'm going to give you a speech on meditation and the benefits of it, how it can improve your life. Uh, does anybody in here practice meditation? AJ? Yeah, really. All right. Most of you probably uh, do it, but you don't really realize it. Uh, meditation has many scientifically proven benefits to its users, and it's so easy a caveman can do it. Um, here's some overviews. We're going to talk about what is meditation, top 10 benefits of it, and some misconceptions and uh, some simple guidelines on how to get started. The dictionary, Webster's Dictionary, says that the act of meditating is to seriously contemplate and to dwell on anything in thought. So pretty much everybody's done that before, right? You're driving in your car, you zone out, daydream. The act of meditation that I'm talking about is a discipline on how to control that, that daydream and use it in a more productive, effective way in your life. So meditation has uh, been practiced since before recorded history. All religions use some form of meditation. Prayer is a form of meditation. However, meditation practices are not secluded to just religions. Business people, leaders, athletes, um, scientists, a uh, whole realm of people use meditation to be more effective in their workplace. Uh, even Google has a uh, a guy, I watched a video where he had this guy come and talk to his employees about how meditation can help them in their workplace. So a lot of companies are jumping on board and teaching their employees the benefits of meditating. So here's some top 10 benefits. This is from a book, uh, Dan Strutzel, and it's called uh, Focused <coughs> Mind and Powerful Mind. There's a lot of different benefits, but these are just the top ten out of his book. First one is enhanced creativity. We think of musicians, artists, uh, people like that, and we think of enhanced creativity. But actually, this scientist, he's a molecular biologist, Dr. John Fagan, he writes in his article called Transcendental Meditation, Access and Creativity, he talks about how meditation has helped him and his fellow scientists, co-workers, make uh, breakthroughs in scientific subjects. Uh, Einstein, Albert Einstein is even quoted saying he made some of his biggest breakthroughs while he was meditating. Top, uh, number two, high level problem solving. This is uh, very, very effective in problem solving. In fact, there's a story about the uh, ancient Indians from the Great Plains in this book called The Seven Arrows. And they talk about how whenever there's a problem amongst the, the tribes in the area, in the region, they would all get together, the, the leaders, and they'd sit in a circle, and they would uh, imagine the, the issue that they're having a problem on is in the center. And they'd all meditate on the problem, and each of them seeing it at a different perspective. And then after they're done meditating, they'd come up with a, a conclusion. So this is one way you can use meditation for high-level problem solving. Uh, number three is increased levels of happiness. Uh, many people turn to uh, substance abuse, gambling, food addictions, uh, all these addictions uh, that people turn to to stimulate happiness. Um, they all release a certain chemical in the brain. Uh, and, and Dr. Janice Whitlock has done some research on addiction and she found that this single chemical it's actually the same chemical that is produced when you meditate. So meditation can increase your level of happiness. Top four, uh, fourth is increased emotional stability. There was some research done on the brain, images of people that meditate, images of people that don't meditate. And in the people that meditated, the region of their brain was more advanced, it was bigger. So it developed to a larger be larger and um, this is the same region that helps people with emotional stability. So scientifically they have proven that it does help with emotional stability. 
Number five, it is it improves mental focus and clarity. That's why a lot of businesses are introducing meditation into their workforce. Um, research has shown through meditation that you can rewire your brain for better focus and create different circuits. Um, this was done by Dr. Daniel Amen in his book, Change Your Brain, Change Your Life. Number six is better sleep. Because you are practicing meditation throughout the day, you're able to handle stress as it comes throughout the day. So when you get ready to go to sleep, your stress, you don't have to process as much, and which it keeps you awake if you're trying to process that undue stress. Also, you can use a guided imagery meditation that helps you get into a sedative state. I use that a lot. Seven is spiritual insights. This is not subject only to those who are wanting to connect with the, the God within, but uh, Dr. Chief Deepak Chopra, he teaches his students that personal awareness and understanding of spiritual laws of consciousness is a foundation for effective leaders. So number eight, improved relationships. Number nine, physical health helps reduce heart disease. This is uh, scientifically proven. That it helps weight loss. It helps with reducing anxiety. It can help with your blood pressure, high blood pressure. And it has known to help PMS. Just to name a few of these benefits, there's many more. And number 10, last but not least, better sex. Scientists have proven that it does help with sex. And one of the reasons is enhanced energy, strength, vigor, and builds self-confidence. So those are the top 10. Now let's go over some misconceptions. You don't have to change your religious beliefs to meditate. Or you don't have to be able to clear your mind. Um, this is a side effect that as you meditate and get better and better, your mind tends to be able to clear a lot easier. And it does not take years to learn. You can learn this in a day. However, you can spend a lifetime trying to master it and you'll continually get better and better. Don't worry if your mind wanders. If you happen to, if it happens to wander, everybody does it. Even the Dalai Lama says that he does it and he's a, a mastery of meditation. Some guidelines to start with. Um, simply find a quiet environment a comfortable chair. You don't have to be in a cross-legged lotus pose to meditate. <coughs> you can meditate uh, laying down, but uh, it, good posture is important. Uh, once you become good at altered states, uh, you can meditate while driving. Not closing your eyes, but just zoning out on a positive, uh, effective thought. And uh, diet, you want to avoid meditating on an empty stomach or a full stomach because it does impede your breathing. Um, so, something in between there. Uh, so, when you get into a relaxed state, uh, so that your body is not interfering with your mind, you simply close your eyes and put your focus on whatever you want to focus on. Um, it could be better health, better success in your career schoolwork, it could be anything, there's, there's countless things that it can be used for. And you want to start off with at least like 5 to 15 minutes a day, uh, preferably two, twice a day, um, to get the full effects. So in summary, uh, I hope this brief has uh, piqued your interest in trying to maybe think about meditating and implementing it in your day. Research has shown that it takes about 30 days for a habit to be formed, so I invite you to try at least 30 days to get to see some full effects, some results. And there's my resources. I'm Jason Stiles. Thanks for listening to my speech on meditation.